that went number one was it became before it became Walking the Dinosaurs. It was our own title. So it was our, our first app was called Inside the World Dinosaurs with Stephen Fry. So at that stage, we, we still had nothing to do with BBC for a year. <clears throat> the app was built in Melbourne with about 30 people, animators, um, top designers and stuff. So we, we just built the app and we owned the IP ourselves and we launched it. You know, this is early days, it's late 2010 on the App Store and um, <clears throat> it was a massive success the first week. It was all over the tech media in America. <clears throat> um, and I think a week later, it won the best app of the year worldwide in San Francisco in education. Yeah, thanks. Um, but so we, we basically built finance and launched our own app that was like a, a I guess a big move and shake in education. There were only two other apps sort of our size. There was one called um, Solar Walk by Vito in Russia, which made 15 million that year, and another called um, uh, the Elements by Touch Press, which made six million that year. And we're, we're making quite a lot of money each week. So um, BBC came two weeks later. So it was app of the year. We were visiting Apple. We met with Steve Wozniak uh, back. You know, actually, that was in Melbourne of all places. Um, but um, we, you know, we got two of Apple, and basically, um, so BBC came to us and said, "We're making this movie. It's the Walking Dinosaurs movie. I love the brand." Wow. You know, we want to work with you and own that kind of dinosaur space. So we basically did a partnership deal with BBC. Was it a good deal? Um, yes, yeah, so it was good. But um, we that's when it became a licensed property. So then it changed over to be a licensed property at that stage. But it was still a bit of a JV because you had some of your intellectual property. Oh, we, own, we owned all the IP. Oh, yeah, we still did yeah. okay. so We licensed their brand right. onto the app and then had to change. Um, we spent like almost a year changing it. It's a big thing. We had to work with BBC, um, and then it came back out. And then we did a game for the movie. All these different things happened. Um, so in between that, all these other global brands started hearing about us, like yeah. Shine in Sydney, the news corporation, yes. Master Chef, and House Kitchen. Yeah. Mm. So essentially, what they do is they they usually hack in the other platforms legally, and and they basically they build lots of little tools in, inside their products. We have to go viral fast. Yes. So a simple way to explain it is that if 